Thank you once again for joining us. Uh, Anne Wangeshi is in charge of our sign language docket. Let's interact our socials on all our media uh, platforms at KBC Channel One. Let us know what your thoughts are on the stories that we are covering for you tonight. On to our lead story now. Essential motion against Deputy President Rigave Gashagwa is set to be tabled in the Senate for debate if approved by Senate Speaker Emerson Kingi. The motion by Tana River Senator Danson Mungatana wants the DP censured over his antrasens, which, according to Mungatana, have marginalized a section of Kenyans, created and continues to create ethnic tensions in contravention of the national values as well as principles of governance as per the constitution as well as demean his office. Gladys Mungai opens our coverage with that central motion that has sparked legal and also political queries. The conduct of the deputy president who is a principal assistant to the president is said to become a subject of discussion in the Senate if a censure motion filed by Senator Danson Mungatana receives the green light for debate. I am motivated to file this censure motion against the holder of the office of the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya because of conduct and becoming of that office. The motion filed on Monday wants the conduct of the DP as a state officer scrutinized over claims he has made public utterances that demean his office and offend the constitution on issues that touch on, among others, the employment of Kenyans to the public service, allocation of resources to devolved units, and incitement of a section of Kenyans to disobey lawful directives by some county governments. Mimi in our end of Senate. Ikatai mambo ambayo yanaendelea sahi. Hii Kenya iko na shida. Na hatuwezi kukubali mtu mmoja kukataa kufanya kazi yake. Na kuingiza mambo mengi badala ya kufanya ile kazi ambayo katiba ya Kenya ilimpatia. According to Mungatana, his conduct contravenes Article 75 of the Constitution and goes against its national values and principle of good governance as envisaged in Article 10, subsection 2 of the Constitution. According to Senator Mungatana, DP's public utterances are deepening divisions in the country. Let us bring the current office holder into order. The current office holder into order to do what he is supposed to do by the provisions of this, um, of this um, uh, constitution of Kenya. Further, the censure motion also raises queries over his potential ethnic lapses in his role as the deputy president. The deputy president of the Republic of Kenya has been conducting himself as if he belongs to only one region of the Republic of Kenya to the exclusion of other regions of the Republic of Kenya to the exclusion of other counties such as Tana River County in the Republic of Kenya. So this is a central motion which I have filed today with the office of the Speaker of the Senate. If approved, will be debated after three days. It will also require a simple majority to censure him and the House decision communicated to the President. If the motion sees the light of the day, he will become the first Deputy President to be censured by Parliament which could pose hurdles in his political career. For Prime Edition, I'm Gladys Mungai.